Hello, this is Mike at Game from Scratch, and welcome to a quick tip with using Blender. Today, specifically, we're going to look at how to get a hand-drawn or painterly style out of Blender. And if you're already quite familiar with Blender, you know the answer is freestyle, and you can probably watch stop watching the video now, because really that's all this video is about, is exposing people to the power of freestyle. I'm not going into a ton of depth, it's a huge topic, but I just want to show people some very quick demonstration of how freestyle works and how it can really bring a certain pizzazz or style to your art form um, with very little work, actually. Now, what happened is I was working on this project. I really just needed a top-down tank. Very simple, very simple model. You can see the polygon modeling right here. Not a lot going on. There's the body down here and the turret up here. There's a simple texture on it, and here is the end result. And, you know, it looks okay, but, you know, I want a cartoony look. Um, I could model more detail, of course, uh, but realistically, I just wanted something quick and simple. If for some reason, by the way, you want this model, it's part of the Patreon package, so you can, if you're a Patreon subscriber, uh, you can download it from the Dropbox link. Um, you should know where that is anyways. But this guy is for an upcoming tutorial example, and when I rendered it, I ended up with this result here, and I'm not really that keen on it. Like, it looks like a tank, definitely has a tank look to it but it's missing a little something. So this is where freestyle comes in. Now, if you've never heard of it, freestyle is a non-photo, an NPR, non-photorealistic renderer, or it's also called, um, you know, a line renderer. So the whole idea is it can draw contours to give you a kind of um, hand-drawn aesthetic. And I'll show you how to use it today, just the very basics of how to turn it on. If you want more details, there's tons of tutorials out there for getting used to freestyle. So again, this is mostly an informational video. So I want this to instead render with a bit more of a drawn look. Now to do this, in Blender, come into your render tab like so, and head on down here to freestyle. Now there's not a lot of options, basically there's uh, line thickness, and that's about it. So we turned it on, now freestyle is enabled. Now of course there are some settings for freestyle, and they're over here uh, in, uh, where did they go? Actually they were in here. So once you've got uh, freestyle enabled, you go over here to the render layers and you can find a whole lot more settings. And like I said, this is a very complex subject, so I'm not gonna go into a great deal of detail on how to use it. Uh, but once you've got it enabled, you see over here in the render layers tab, there is now a freestyle section for line sets and line style. Now, I'm not gonna really get into line sets. We're gonna more talk about line styles today. And this is gonna determine how your edges or contours are rendered. So now that freestyle is enabled, let me go ahead and render again. So this is the, the default Blender renderer results. And here is freestyle. Zoomed in a great deal, but you look at that and there's a very much more hand-drawn cartoony sprite look to it. And I am not doing this justice by any means. It's a very simple model. You can see it's taking into effect the shading and the lighting. So you still got your shadows going in here from your light source being on this side. So the light source is going to affect it. So if I move this guy, straight over top, and we render again, you'll see that shadowing's gone. It's brighter around the outside. It actually doesn't look as good, uh, but that is all being accounted for by the render. So basically, it's an edge renderer that goes on top of your normal renderer. Like, these are normal texture maps that I created myself. So really, it's just these lines that the the renderer results in. And you look down here, we've got a lot of control over it. We can do um, sketchy versus plain. Uh, one of the neat things we can come in here, we can, do with, we can change the thickness uh, we can add a modifier on the top, so things like we could add noise, uh, change it based off the distance from the camera. And I'll go with a calligra uh, calligraphy brush style. Um, min thickness is that, max thickness is that, and now we'll go and see. So that used a much thicker calligraphy style brush. That's just one of the examples of what you can do here. You've got control over um, alpha modifiers. So you can see there's a different set going on here. Uh, color, you can change the color that it's rendered as. So for example, if we want it to be slightly grayer, go on here, and there's your end result. It looks terrible, mind you, but you can do it. Uh, you can change how your strokes are drawn. So we saw earlier sketchy versus plain. Um, you can change so much control over this, to be honest. Again, I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of detail over what um, freestyle can do. This is more I want you to know about it. So you can very quickly get results like this. Now, it's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it does kind of look like I've drawn it. So there's a lot of power here in freestyle. Um, the thing I should probably do now is show you some actual good artwork created with freestyle. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here you can see, obviously, there's the anime style effect. This was rendered in freestyle. And you can see, you know, it, it looks like your typical animation, anime 
rendering. Uh, here's another example. And you can see it also changes the way that shadows are cast across surfaces. So you get more of that shell shaded look if you want it. However, you're not limited to a shell shaded style. For example, say you want to have more of a blueprint style. Well, this was also drawn you are rendered using freestyle. It's a hugely powerful render. It's definitely one of those things you should check out. Now for years and years and years, it was own, its own build, but now it's actually built into the main render uh, branch. So if you've got Blender, you've got freestyle. And once again, a quick recap of how freestyle works. To enable it, you go into your render settings right here, just go on down and enable freestyle. And then, you know, for some of you, that may actually be enough. You might be done at that point. But if you want more fine control, you come into render layers. And then again, there's this uh, the line sets here, you can change how visibility works. How This basically is determining, you know, are only outside edges drawn? What When is it a line versus when is it not rendered, etc.? That's what's controlled by these line sets right here. And you can have multiple, coincidentally. So again, a huge topic. I want you to be aware of three styles because of this video, but I am by no means teaching you how to use it. Other than turn it on here, configure it here, and render. And you are good to go, although I believe I just turned it off. No, turned on. Hmm, not sure what I did. Oh, I screwed things up with my with my line sets. So don't do that. All right, so that was it. Hope you, uh, if you've never heard of freestyle, I hope this kind of got your mind working. It is a very cool feature of Blender, especially for game artists looking for, you know, a bit of a different look. And it doesn't have to be that anime style. You can actually get some really cool sketchy or blueprinty looks out of freestyle, or you can just use it to add, you know, a silhouette or an edge to your rendering to make the results very quickly. Uh, that has a very consistent and very cool look to it. All right, that's all. See you all later. Bye.